Hi guys, it's Harry from Kickstart Commerce and I'm back today with another tutorial for you guys. So today I'm going to show you uh, all the different options that are available to you in BigCommerce uh, for the shipping and delivery settings. So if we go to uh, store setup and then to the shipping section. Um, first off, you'll want to edit this top bit here, which is the shipping origin address. So this is uh, where you'll be shipping uh, your products from. Uh, it just helps estimation for shipping options and stuff like that. Um, but it's obviously all optional, so you don't have to fill that in if you, if you don't need to. Um, okay, so uh, first thing to note is this section here is where you add your shipping zones. So um, your shipping zones would be for uh, different countries that have different shipping rules. So you could have uh, the UK as a, your main uh, shipping zone and then you might have um, Jersey or Guernsey or the Isle of Man um, or different countries in total if you uh, ship internationally. So you could have rest of the world or France or something like that. But um, since this one is our default, you would turn it on if it's not on already and then you can configure the settings okay so uh, i'll just work through all of them um every store is different so everyone will have different needs and requirements but um, we'll just go through them now so the free shipping option here um if we turn that on so you can limit uh, the free shipping to uh, orders that only exceed a certain amount. So if we were to tick that on, then we could say that uh, only orders of £15 or more can uh, get free shipping. The use the discounted order subtotal um, simply means that if you have uh, sale prices on in your store, um, it will only count the subtotal as this uh, 15 pounds limit. So um, you can only get free shipping if the subtotal after the uh, discounts come off are over 15 pounds. Um, and then this make products with a fixed shipping cost ineligible for free shipping means that you can make uh, some products um, which have a fixed shipping price in the actual product detail page um, make that ineligible for free shipping. Um, okay, so that's pretty good. Free shipping, you can't change the label of it, but you can with some of the other ones. So the next one is ship by weight. So if we just turn this on, um, you can change the display names on these ones, um, but I'd leave it the same for ship by weight. And you can do the, uh, you can do it by order total or weight. So um, I'll use weight as the example. If, um, say we have products from, yeah, naught to one would cost one pound. This is weight. So then if you add uh, products from 1.01 kilos to two kilos, it could then be three pounds. Then if, if the next bracket was 301 to four or even 201 to 3 and that could be five pounds um, so if all of your products um, and the shipping would be heavily weight based then you can make all these different ranges um, the thing to note is that you'd obviously have to um, make sure all the weights are correct in the product pages okay so what's helpful with this is that Say, for example, you have um, a product like a poster and a certain size poster would be um, quite cheap to send because it wouldn't be that big and you'd send it in a tube, maybe this big. Um, you could set all of those posters to um, a weight of 0 0.01 kg as a, a fixed weight. And then you could have posters that are a lot longer and would cost more to send in the post. And you could set the weight of those to uh, five kilos. And then you'd set your ranges in here from naught to one. 
and you'd have the small small poster size uh, shipping of three pounds and then the large posters would be anything from one to five kilos and you could set that to seven pounds so you could have that for different um different products with different sizes and shipping rules that's one way to do it so um that's uh quite helpful you can also then have um a flat rate shipping costs so i think a good example use of this would be to set economy shipping and the economy could be three pound fifty per order or per item um you can choose and then you can also with this duplicate it and then if we edit the duplicated version we could make this express shipping and make this six pounds and then obviously you could duplicate again and have um, a track shipping as well so i think a flat rate is quite a simple way to do it but it gives a little drop down in the checkout to uh, give people the option okay so the last one which i think a lot of stores are doing right now is a pick up in store option or commonly referred to as a click and collect. Um, it is important to note that you might want to uh, specify an amount of time that um, people can uh, expect to collect their order from. So you don't want people to be in the car park of, of your store and uh, just order it and expect to collect it straight away doesn't seem like a good idea. So if we suggested two to four days as an example, two to four days, or ready in two to four days, yeah, something like that. Right, so those are the uh, basic um, shipping settings. If I move myself out of the way and we click done, so that is the United Kingdom. Um, I will just show you if we added um, an extra one. So here you can see, you can add the rest of the world if you just wanted to do anything outside of your default country. Um, but let's add a second country. So if we say Jersey and we submit, now you can go through this Jersey one and apply the different uh, shipping settings for Jersey. Um, so yeah, and there are also add-ons uh, for more complex shipping rules like Shipper HQ, um, which can deal with almost any combination of postcode, uh, weight, quantity, countries. Um, so it is really helpful, but uh, it can be quite expensive. I think the plans range from something like £40 a month to the pro version, which is probably £250 a month. Um, so if you can keep your shipping rules simple and use the built-in big commerce ones, one, it makes the process quite streamlined, but also you will be saving ongoing costs every month. Um, but this is obviously just unavoidable for some bigger companies who are uh, shipping abroad with multiple carriers and a lot of complex requirements. Um, but yeah, that's the tutorial, tutorial for you guys today. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions or any suggestions, then drop them in the comments and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.